Turkey, a nation straddling two continents, has now become one of the few countries to develop its own fifth-generation fighter jet, the Kahan. This name, meaning ruler or king of kings in Turkish, embodies the nation's bold ambition. What does it take for a nation to join the exclusive club of countries that have developed a fifth-generation fighter jet? What sets this aircraft apart in the competitive field of advanced military aviation? Today, we'll highlight the strategic significance of the Kahan project for the nation's defense industry. This jet symbolizes a century-old dream and represents an ambitious stride towards military self-sufficiency. In 2010, the Turkish Defense Industry Executive Committee made a significant announcement that would shape the future of Turkey's military capabilities. The committee declared its intention to develop a national fighter jet, a project aimed at achieving greater self-sufficiency in defense technology. This decision marked the beginning of an ambitious journey for Turkey to design and produce its own fifth-generation fighter aircraft, known today as the TF Kahan. The project, officially named Mili Muharip Uçak, or MMU, started with the goal of replacing the aging fleet of Block 50 F-16s and eventually working alongside the F-35. The initial phase involved extensive research and planning, with Turkish Aerospace Industries, or TAI, and TUS Engine Industries taking the lead. By 2013, the conceptual design phase was completed, laying the foundation for the next steps in the aircraft's development. In 2015, several potential designs were proposed, each reflecting different configurations and capabilities. The first design, known as FX-1, featured a twin-engine layout similar to the American F-22, emphasizing stealth and air superiority. Another design, FX-5, was a single-engine configuration resembling the F-16, focusing on versatility and cost-effectiveness. A third design, FX-6, took inspiration from the Saab J-39 Gripen, incorporating forward canards for enhanced agility. After careful consideration, the twin-engine FX-1 design was selected, setting the stage for the next phase of the project. The development of the Kahan gained significant momentum in 2016, when a substantial contract was awarded to Turkish Aerospace Industries. This contract, valued at approximately $1.8 billion, was aimed at advancing the design and development of the fighter jet. Alongside TI, BAE Systems of the UK was brought in to provide crucial engineering assistance, leveraging their expertise to ensure the success of the program. This partnership underscored the international collaboration involved in bringing the Kahan to life. Just a quick moment before we unveil the rest. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Stay up to date and never miss out on the latest insights. By 2019, the project had reached a crucial milestone with the public unveiling of the jet. This event highlighted Turkey's progress and commitment. In the following years, the project continued to advance, with the first prototype rolled out in March 2023. President Erdogan announced that the Kahan represents a century-old aspiration that the nation has been striving to achieve since the establishment of the Republic. On February 21, 2024, the new fighter jet achieved a significant milestone with its maiden flight. The aircraft ascended to an altitude of 8,000 feet, reaching a speed of 230 knots. This flight, which lasted 13 minutes, marked the beginning of a series of prototype tests aimed at progressively testing the jet's capabilities at higher altitudes and speeds. Now, the Kahan is still in its prototype phase and many details have not been disclosed yet, but let's go through what we know so far. With a wingspan of 46 feet, a height of about 20 feet, and a length of 49 feet, it is a state-of-the-art aircraft designed to meet modern combat requirements. In terms of performance, the jet is designed to match or exceed the capabilities of other fifth-generation fighters. It boasts a maximum speed of around Mach 1.8, allowing it to quickly engage and disengage from threats. It can reach a service ceiling of 55,000 feet, giving it a strategic advantage in high-altitude operations. Additionally, with an internal fuel range of approximately 700 miles, the aircraft can conduct extended missions without the need for immediate refueling, enhancing its operational flexibility. The fighter jet is equipped with advanced weapon systems designed for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. It features two small internal weapons bays on either side of the fuselage, primarily for carrying Fox 2 missiles. Additionally, a larger internal weapons bay under the fuselage can accommodate up to four larger missiles. This internal storage reduces the aircraft's radar signature, maintaining its stealth profile during missions. 
The jet is capable of carrying a variety of missiles, including several developed in Turkey. Among these are the Meteor, a beyond visual range air to air missile, and the short range infrared Merlin missile. For mid range engagements, the Gokdogan missile is used, while the long range active Perseus missile provides extended reach capabilities. For ground targets, the Kahan can deploy the MAMT anti tank missile and the SOM cruise missile, both of which are precision guided munitions designed to strike with high accuracy. One of its key features is its stealth capabilities. The aircraft employs a combination of titanium, aluminum, and composite carbon thermoplastic materials in its construction. These materials significantly reduce the radar cross-section of the jet, making it harder to detect by enemy radar systems. The composite carbon thermoplastic, in particular, is known for its lightweight and low radar reflectivity properties, which are crucial for maintaining stealth. Going further on the topic of stealth, one point of discussion is the engine used for the fighter jet. For the prototype phase, the aircraft is equipped with F-110 GE-129 engines. These engines, also used in the F-16C Block 50, provide 19,500 pounds of thrust, enabling the jet to achieve significant performance benchmarks. However, these American F-110 turbofans come with standard exhaust nozzles and therefore aren't optimized for stealth because thrust can't be vectored away from radar beams, complicating stealth. Turkey's choice to utilize this type of engine is largely driven by the limited availability of cutting-edge propulsion technologies from Western defense firms and the strained relations with NATO and the United States, which have resulted in sanctions against Turkish entities. While there were considerations to incorporate engines from other countries, including a Russian power plant or collaborating with Rolls-Royce of the UK, the current geopolitical climate makes these alternatives impractical. This is why Turkey has plans to develop an indigenous engine to replace the F-110 in future production models, aiming for greater self-sufficiency and control over its technology. This initiative, however, is fraught with technical difficulties and requires significant investment in research and development. Now, let's take a moment to zoom out and see how these technical specs fit into the bigger picture. Understanding the advanced technical specifications of the Kahan highlights its strategic importance to Turkey's defense strategy. The development of this fighter jet is a key element in the nation's long-standing goal to achieve military self-sufficiency. This ambition is driven by the need to reduce reliance on foreign military imports and enhance national defense capabilities through domestic production. By developing the aircraft, Turkey aims to ensure that its defense needs are met with homegrown technology, mitigating the risks associated with international political fluctuations and potential embargoes. This ambition for self-sufficiency has been shaped by historical challenges and regional security dynamics, emphasizing the need for an independent and robust defense industry. The Kahan embodies this strategic vision, fitting seamlessly into the nation's response to regional threats. Located in a volatile region, it faces security challenges from various fronts, including conflicts in neighboring Syria and Iraq, and tensions with Greece and Cyprus. The development of the fighter jet enhances air combat capabilities, allowing the country to project power and maintain a strategic edge. This aircraft symbolizes not just a tool of defense, but also the nation's growing influence and technological prowess. The jet's role in replacing the aging fleet of F-16s is crucial. The F-16s, while still effective, are gradually becoming outdated in the face of evolving military technologies and advanced threats. The introduction of this advanced aircraft ensures that the nation remains at the forefront of modern aerial combat, with a platform that offers superior capabilities in terms of speed, stealth, and weaponry. Additionally, the Kahan is designed to potentially complement the F-35s if re-entry into the program or acquisition becomes possible in the future. Let's pause for a moment to cover what happened with the F-35. Turkey was a major partner of the American 5th Gen F-35 Joint Strike Development Program. They helped finance its development and provided select maintenance functions for European operators. But in 2019, the nation was removed from the program by the United States due to its decision to purchase the Russian-made S-400 missile defense system. The US and other NATO members expressed concerns that the S-400 could compromise the security of the F-35 jets as the system's radars might be able to gather sensitive data on their stealth capabilities. This led to a significant shift in Turkey's defense strategy, prompting the development of their local fighter jet. 
Despite this setback, the Kahan is designed to potentially complement the F-35s if re-entry into the program. This dual capability would provide Turkey with a versatile and powerful air force capable of handling a wide range of missions and threats. The development of the Kahan, while a significant achievement for Turkey, is not without its challenges and criticisms. The cost of developing and producing this advanced aircraft is a critical challenge. Each unit is estimated to cost around $100 million, placing it at the higher end of the price spectrum for modern fighter jets. This high cost is partly due to the advanced technologies incorporated into the jet, such as stealth materials, sophisticated avionics, and weapon systems. To make the project economically viable, securing export orders is essential. Without international customers, the financial burden on the government could be unsustainable. Exporting the Kahan would also help amortize the development costs over a larger number of units, reducing the per-unit cost. There is also a significant degree of skepticism from Western observers regarding the nation's ability to produce a fifth-generation fighter jet domestically. Critics point out that developing such advanced aircraft requires not only significant financial resources, but also a high level of technical expertise and manufacturing capability. Countries like the United States, Russia, and China, which have successfully developed fifth-generation fighters, have decades of experience in aerospace engineering and substantial industrial infrastructure. In contrast, Turkey is relatively new to this level of technological challenge. Skeptics argue that without extensive experience, the nation may struggle to meet the performance benchmarks and production timelines necessary to make the new aircraft a competitive player in the global market. The future prospects of the Kahan project are ambitious. The production timeline is a key aspect of its development plan. The Turkish Aerospace Industries aims to roll out the first production aircraft by 2025. This initial phase will involve producing a limited number of units to finalize design specifications and integrate various systems. Following the successful implementation and testing of these initial aircraft, the project will move into mass production, starting in 2033. By this time, the production rate is expected to ramp up to 24 units per year, ensuring a steady supply of advanced fighter jets for the Turkish Air Force. A significant aspect of the future success of the Kahan is its seamless integration with other national defense systems. This includes compatibility with various drones, mission systems, and indigenous weapons. One of the primary roles of the jet will be to enhance the nation's air combat capabilities by working in conjunction with unmanned aerial vehicles like the Bayraktar TB2 and Anka. These drones, already a critical component of the country's defense strategy, will benefit from the jet's advanced avionics and communication systems, enabling coordinated operations and real-time data sharing. Moreover, the Kahan will be equipped with mission systems designed to interface with other components of Turkey's defense infrastructure. This includes advanced radar systems, electronic warfare capabilities, and sophisticated avionics that provide superior situational awareness and combat effectiveness. Its ability to carry a wide range of domestically produced missiles and munitions, like the ones mentioned before, further highlights its role in the country's future military strategy. This capability ensures that the jet is well integrated into the nation's existing and future defense operations, supporting the goal of self-sufficiency in military technology. Looking ahead, the Kahan is poised to play a crucial role in Turkey's defense strategy well into the 2070s. As it enters mass production and becomes a staple of the Turkish Air Force, the fighter jet will symbolize the nation's commitment to maintaining a robust and independent defense posture. This development will also position the country as a key player in the global defense industry.